Hello, how's it going guys? Nas here, or Nazar, you're watching Nostalgic Reviews. This is what's happening today, guys. Look at this beautiful, beautiful model. Um, <clears throat> lately I've been getting extremely impressed by Street Warrior. Um, amazing brand, to be honest with you. Um, they've been putting out some amazing freaking cars uh all scaled 164 i don't know if they make other scales but uh that's what i collect that's what i review <laughs> so uh to me um i've been really incredibly impressed i have a whole bunch in my collection and uh this is another one this is the uh rwb Welt begriff ae86 yes the trueno um, if you know the references here, you will recognize this as the initial D car. And this one's been rock welted. <laughs> okay, I'll show myself out. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, just kidding. But anyway, um, we're gonna uh, use one of these sharp objects to uh, open this up. Take a look at it. Take it off the base. See what it's all about. And... Uh, then I'll tell you where you can get it and where you can get a really good discount for it. So stick around and uh, why don't you, uh, you know, F around and find out, huh? Why don't you do that? Let's do that together. Let's F around a little bit and find out. I'm finding out that this is difficult to open. Oh, they taped it in a very strange way. <laughs> it's okay though. This is for those of you ASMR fans that love the sound of this plastic, like I do. I'm gonna shut up for two seconds. There you go, you're welcome. So here we go, this is, uh, I love seeing this fresh out of the, uh, out of the wrapper. Because the acrylic case just looks so amazing when it's clean and hasn't been, uh, smeared with fingerprints oh man but yeah man this toyota is freaking beautiful bro let's uh let's let's push her out of this this little situation here all right so first of all there's a i love these little inserts because if you have a case uh you can always cut this out to size and put this inside of that case you know behind the car and it'll look you know It'll look fantastic, like so. Professional and clean. So that's why those are removable. And I appreciate um, Street Warrior for doing that. All right. So here, let's have a look around in the case because there are layers to this, man. You gotta, you gotta admire it from every direction of every packaging because everything has been... Um, you know, thought through by the designers of these packagings and such things. There we go. This is open. And uh, let's have a look here. Street Warrior, Rockwell, Belgrief, AE86. The company is Ghost Player. Uh, limited edition, 437 of 499. It is a higher number, but uh, it's quite all right. We're not here for numbers. We are here for... Let's make this darker, first of all. It's kind of... It's very white, man. <laughs> it's like hard to freaking see. All right, there we go. Took it down a little notch. Look at this beauty, man. We are going to take this off the base. I just wanted to show you the initial the initial D here. <laughs> it's kind of easier to see on the base. Maybe we got a little too dark there. I apologize. There we go. It just the bottom's so black and the white is so white that like it's hard for the camera to figure things out. You know what I mean? But we're doing our best. <laughs> 
so far, I am incredibly freaking impressed by this thing. The detailer on point. These actually usually come at a higher price point, uh, at about thirty dollars. First of all, it's it's a Toyota freaking Trueno, AE86, obviously. Second of all, it's uh, connected, tied to uh, Initial D, the very famous uh, drifting anime. Third of all, it's a RWB um, body kit on it, creation, I should say, rather. So, um, and it's a 164 scale collectible model. So it's it's like a trifecta or quadfecta uh, of collectibles. <laughs> so I really dig this thing. Uh, definitely going to be uh, very happy to keep this bad boy in my collection. All right, let's take this off the base and uh, have, a, have a closer look as we zoom in on it and find out if the base is metal or not. Which isn't that big of a deal, but we gotta know, right? It's a review. God. All right. Screwy thingy acquired. Uh, all I need is... All I need is a miracle. All I need is a freaking cloth, which isn't around. Gonna have to turn off the camera or... We're back. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use this one. I have a better one without all the advertisements on it. Uh, but you know, we're we're not we're not keeping this professional here, folks. We are we're just we are who we are here. Uh which is collectors. God damn it. We're not sponsored by people. We are simply acquiring and placing into cases. All right, I think we got this. All right, here's your naked um, base. Oh, don't look, don't look, don't look. Can't look at those bits. How dare you? Okay. <laughs> All right, so the base is uh, obviously plastic, uh, which is okay. Um, I do love that these um, collector grade cars, uh, they use screws, not rivets like Hot Wheels, because you know, it's not like as massly produced. But uh, in any case, okay, I think we need to, uh, I apologize, guys. This was a little too bright there. There we go. Now we can actually look at it and not just see a big white smudge. There we go. Okay, <laughs> let's get to it. So uh, let's start with the wheels. Uh, let's see, how do they, how do they roll? Do they roll well? Uh... They, they are rollers, but they're not, uh, as you can see, they're kind of, they're kind of like stucky rolly. They turn, but they're not really meant for, like, see, they definitely spin, but it's not something you want to put on a Hot Wheels track. Not that you would want to. I mean, come on, bro. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Yeah, they, you know, whatever. It's, it's a model, um. Uh, not the biggest it looks like actually like it might not be tight enough so the wheels aren't given a chance to spin so maybe we'll uh, at the end of this video stick around guys if you're interested i'm gonna take this thing apart so with that said let's uh let's do the review here <laughs> it's about freaking time right okay rockwelt uh beautiful uh sun visor decal uh, the rear mirrors are plastic. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise Moses and whoever. Um, <laughs> because I, I really hate the rubber uh, mirrors. I really do. Um, they're going to start drooping in time. Anyway, I say that in like every video. So anyway, let's uh, zoom in a little bit here. Okay, so here we go. Um, the headlights are freaking beautiful, dude. Look at that. They actually have little chrome wells for the headlights with a little, like, almost simulated, um, light bulb in there. That's freaking cool, man. Wow. Look at that tiny little W R freaking R W R W B logo right there on the bottom. That's, that's right on. 
can't really tell if that's a broken <laughs> grill or uh, intercooler, uh, uh, oil cooler. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I don't remember what exactly the characters, the katakana look like for the rice um, uh, tofu shop from Initial D, but I wonder if that's what that is or not. Probably not, because that would only be on one side of the car, not both sides. Correct me if I'm wrong. So that probably just says like Ralph Welt or something. Um, on the back here we have a really nice vent. Beleza. Okay, a little bit of livery there, that's nice. Uh, we have lettering on the tires. Let's let's see if we can actually see what that says. I'm not sure what it says, but um, what I'm impressed with is the disc brakes, man. Look at that. They're in there. So are the calipers. That's awesome. Something's going on, though. I think, like I said, I think, yeah, see, it's kind of loose here. So this particular model might have some kind of a... We'll take it apart very shortly, guys. Okay, so love the headlights. Love the uh, RWB um, modifications. Beautiful. Very subtle, but, you know, nice. Gold RWB on the back there. Translucent um, uh, red-tinted rear taillights. Very well done. You got your beautiful little red tow hook right there. Oh, look at the whittle wad <laughs> uh, Cool, they painted the entire exhaust. Nice touch. But yeah, I love like the, the matte black paint on the bottom of this thing. Let's zoom out a little bit. A little too close. That looks awesome. And then the gloss white on top. Interior roll cage with chrome accent on it. Very nice. All the way to the front, very nice. Obviously the steering wheel is on the right, it's a JDM. Spec. So yeah, um, very freaking cool, man. Extremely impressed with this. Um, you know, for the Street Warrior company, what's, what's the actual company here? Hold on a second. Ghost Player, there you go. So, <laughs> Ghost Player. Uh, 437 so very cool all right guys let's um let's take this apart um, I definitely recommend this before I take this apart if you're interested in acquiring one of these uh, head over to diecastcrepo.com right there on your screen under the car so make sure you head over there um, if you want to uh, get 15% off Use my code there, uh, which is nostalgic, just like this channel. Nostalgic. You'll get 15% off of your purchase, guys. Um, also, I know these guys. I know Vic and Lana. They are my friends. Um, I purchased from them before. I will in the future. I uh, do some of my pre-orders with them. And uh, we also hang out and stuff. So, not sponsored. Just uh, shouting them out. And... Uh, they also give me uh, cars to review from time to time, such as this one. God, this thing's freaking white. All right. This is not easy, guys, to do this looking through the camera as if the camera or your eyes. Whoa, this was tightened up fairly strongly. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay. I think this screwdriver is a little too big for the task. I think so. Other oh, never mind, it fits. <laughs> I'm actually very curious how many parts are in there. Okay, whoa! That screw was like, I'm out, man. I'm Audi 2000. You're not, Toyota, you're not! You're AE86! <laughs> okay, so, starting with the base. Here are the wheels. Whoa, sorry, sorry. So 
these things just probably need to be pressed a little bit more. Yeah, because uh, since there's these um, bridges there, they just need to be pressed in more. That's all. And then we'll have a normal rolling car, I think. Okay. Yeah, they're rolling. You see me rolling. You hate in. <laughs> I'm sorry. I won't do that again. All right, they're rolling. I might have made them tighter. <laughs> they're all right. Okay, enough of this. Enough of this nonsense. All right, let's leave that there. Next up, what's the next level here? Let's see. Pick this up. All right, that's the whole interior. Ooh, okay. This is the whole interior right here, right on. Very nice looking cage, actually. Cool. Oops. Nice. So the chair is a separate part, the cage is a separate part. Um, yeah, there's your wheels, these things bend in. That's awesome. What's next we have here? All right, we're down to the uh, the die cast bit, guys. There it is. So uh, the tail lights are not all the way through. Okay, that's why they look so nice because they're not on pegs. They're just glued in there. That's what's up. Um, let's see the glass. Oh whoa! Wow. Wait, okay, yeah, <laughs> for a second I thought, uh, no, actually, yeah, so it looks like the outside windows are from the outside, like, they're individual cutouts, and then they glued, glued them in there like that, which is, okay, focus, please, which is freaking cool, see, like, that's metal there. And then the back and the front is its own little piece that's inserted from the inside. That's a fun little detail. Huh. Yeah, that's metal. I love the overspray, by the way. That's cool. <laughs> nice. So these are separate little bits on the sides for for windows. I like it. So if you want to like customize it, you can just push them out and have a open window. <laughs> Impressive. And then, okay, that's for the uh, for the grill right there. The gray plastic. I think. What's that for? Maybe the headlights. Yeah, that's for the headlights. Okay. <laughs> Right on, man. There you go, guys. And uh, yeah, it comes back together with absolute ease, as shown in front of your eyes. Just pop them screws, uh, pop them screws back in. if you can <laughs> and that's it all right guys so uh yeah we are done with this little unboxing review and uh also the taking a part of shout out to cameron hey cameron how's this looking on your big screen tv <sighs> i'm very impressed with this uh again Thank you, uh, Lana and Vic, for uh, sending this over for a review. Everybody, if you're interested in this, head over to diecastcrepo.com. Uh, make sure you enter the uh, secret discount code, Nostalgic, if you want to get 15% off of your purchase. 
which is like getting tax off. That's a good deal. It's like twice the tax off. Come on, guys. And uh, know that you're supporting other collectors who are also my friends. So uh, peace and love, everyone. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm out, man. I'm going to go make some more reviews. I got some awesome diecast for you guys this week. So stay tuned. Peace. Mm -hmm.